Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and that's right, another Simpsons short that recently arrived on Disney Plus and on Star Wars Day, May the 4th. Yes, um, the second Simpsons short that's all Star Wars themed, and which being Maggie Simpson in Rogue Not Quite One. That's a title. <laughs> that is a title. Um, yeah. And as I said, the second Simpsons uh, short film that's Star Wars themed, uh, the first one, which was The Force Awakens from its nap. And also, you know, quick recap on, you know, the, the Simpsons shorts that came straight to Disney+. Plus. You know, all of them were fine for what they were. Um, I know that they haven't been the best, but, you know... I've, I've, en I've enjoyed them. I've gotten some laughs, and, um, yeah, like, from Disney and Marvel that were in these shorts, you know, and Star Wars. Yeah, pretty funny, and some pretty good stuff to them, like, you know, when having Tom Hiddleston as Loki, the Disney villains, you know, like, all these Disney characters and Star Wars characters appearing, and in the style of Sim as Simpsons characters, you name it. But anyways, um, so yeah, Maggie Simpson in Rogue, in Rogue Not Quite One, the story, Maggie jumps in Grogu's floating stroller, yeah, uh, that, that's what it is, like a floating hover stroller, basically, you know, uh, and takes off across the galaxy in hyperspace, but Homer loses track of her. Maggie conducts the conflict in Springfield against a group of Imperial TIE Fighters. So, yeah. Because um, basically, like, um, it's pretty funny because with the opening of the, the, the Cinderella Castle, but then, you know, it's all Simpsons themed. Everything from Spr Springfield could bind, like, in the shape of the castle, you know? Um, and we see, like... Some Star Wars characters taking children to Mon Mothma and me. I don't know, like, Mon Mothma's own, like, class or something like that. I don't know, like, there was, like, say, Jabba the Hutt, like, taking, like, two, like, uh, kid huts. And Ahsoka took, had kids with her and BB-8. Okay. And, uh, well, uh, Mandu. Mandu, yeah. Den Djarin. With Grogu, and apparently, because before he can go in, he has to, like, take his weapons out and so on, you know, policy of, like, not bringing in weapons, and even Homer and Maggie going as well, but Homer, he he really wants to go in for a quick drink at Moe's uh, Cantina, which, that, that makes sense, and, it's, and that, that's a good joke. Heck, uh, just want to quickly mention, Nostalgia Critic did a joke like that, you know? So, anyways. Um, and basically, like, he leaves, uh, he leaves Maggie behind, and Maggie, as, as, as I read the description, you know, gets in Grogu's floating stroller. It's funny how it's, how, how they, how they call it, Grogu's floating stroller. <laughs> so, yeah. Maggie being Maggie, like, messing around with, uh, uh, Grogu's floating stroller, and, um, you know, like, we, we, of course, get some Star Wars music, and just, like, in the last Simpsons short that was Star Wars themed, which was pretty cool, like, you know, Mandalorian music, and John Williams music, you know, from, like, the prequels, and the original trilogy, pretty cool, and, um, yeah, like, gosh, even Din Djarin was gonna use the Darksaber on Maggie Simpson, why, Din Djarin? She's just a baby. Like, I don't know. Um, and some pretty funny stuff that Maggie does, like going into hyperspace and even say, you know, uh, going fast and passing by the the cops, you know, the Springfield cops. They're, like, gonna, like, ch chase her down and save her, but the one cop, you know, getting distracted by a donut, so... And, um, it's not just, like, not only is Maggie, Maggie, like, going through space, but also going, th going around Springfield, and at one point comes face-to-face -face with, as, as I read, you know, TIE Fighters, and one of the TIE Fighters being, well, 
obviously it's the same uh, styled TIE fighter as Darth Vader's. And I was thinking it was probably going to be Darth Vader, and I'm, if anybody thought so too. Uh, but no, it's Gerald, you know, the unibrow baby, Maggie's arch enemy. And he's, he's Darth Maul with the... If that doesn't make any sense, like, it does, like, it's, and it's hilarious. Well, yeah, so, it, like, a TIE fighter chase and a bunch of other TIE fighters coming in. It's pretty funny that they make the shape, like, they, they make the words, I should say. That, I'm sorry, they make the words, bye-bye baby. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And, um, gosh, even at one point, those, uh, one-eyed tentacle aliens, what they're, you know, them... They come in and they, they like, uh, they take on the TIE Fighters. They basically help out Maggie. And they've got shirts that say Team Maggie. <laughs> funny. That was funny. Even uh, Homer, because he was, after he was done at Moe's Cantina, he, like, he apparently, like, at one point got swallowed up. But then that alien spitted him out. And, yeah, Din Djarin is not pleased and he, he tells Homer... He points up and tells him that, you know, your your child took my child's stroller, basically. Um, I forget, like, I forget what Homer was doing on his phone, but at one point we get a text scroll, you know, the Star Wars text scroll, and it's pretty funny, because breaking the fourth wall, like, you know, nobody reads these text scrolls. Well, of course we do, you know, that's a part of Star Wars. It's, it's important to read the text scrolls, right? So... Um, eventually, um, uh, Maggie has to give up her pacifier, you know, and, like, gives it to Gerald, and apparently Gerald is happy, and he, you know, he spares Maggie, and Maggie, she's upset about losing her pacifier, but out of nowhere, uh, in the floating stroller, um, uh, is BB-8, and, you know, BB-8 doing this, like, you know, choose one of my, like, mechanical claws, I guess you could say. Maggie chooses this, like, this one, like, this claw, and, lo and behold, is a pacifier, you know? This, um, you know, uh, backup pacifier, I guess you could say, for Maggie. And yeah, all ends well, and both Maggie and BB-8 in the floating stroller, they ride off into the sunset. And with, like, the artwork that's shown during the credits, obviously in the style of The Mandalorian, like, <laughs> Mr. Burns is Emperor Palpatine. Now that makes sense. And Mando... I'm sorry. Homer dressed up as Mando. Funny. <laughs> and Grandpa Simpson. Him in the floating stroller. And he, he's getting his diaper changed. <laughs> that was... That was pretty funny. But anyways, yeah... Uh, um, yeah, so Maggie Simpson in Rogue Not Quite One, it was pretty good, decent, like, you know, not the best, but I, I thought it was pretty good for, for what it was, it's fine for what it was, um, and I don't know, um, I give, it's on my mind, I'll give it, uh, yeah, six, six out of ten stars, Again, thought it was pretty good. It's fine for what it is. And what about you guys? What did you think of the Simpsons uh, short film, Maggie Simpson in Rogue Not Quite One? And what did you what did you think of my review? Leave comments and give this review a like as always. And yeah, one more thing. I think yeah, as of now, you never know what the Simpsons has in store for Disney Plus. Just saying, like, like you never know, like. We had no idea that this was coming, and they just happened to announce this right before it was coming out. So yeah. So, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Simpson short film, Maggie Simpson in Rogue Not Quite One. More reviews coming your way. They're gonna be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Take care, peace out, and may... The Force be with you.